Howdy. How about a lift? My horse went lame, so I had to shoot him, and I'm stuck here. Without food and water. Get on. Thanks. I'm heading for El Paso. Well, you better get off. I've just been there. You better get off seeing how hmm? I got your gun. That's a good horse, boy. Take care of it. Sure. Adios. Still free? Yeah, sure. Take care of my horse, will you? I fold. Fifty. You're fifty. And another 50. 200. You're playing awful slow. I'm getting mighty tired of it. Hundred more. This is worth 300 easy. Will I get my money back on this? Sure, Morton, it's worth it. I call. You got the wrong fella, mister. Nobody pulls a fast one on me. Don't try it. Get on your feet. Get out of town fast. You're lucky there's no room in the jail. Look, Sheriff, I... Go on, fella, get out. Don't argue. Hey.
You got out of that pretty easy. <laughs> By the way, the fifth ace came from the blonde in there. Oh, yeah? Thanks for the information. You're welcome. Come on, Bill. We got to feed them prisoners. Hey, you still around? Clear out. you stop? Are you modest? Put this on. What's the matter? Don't you remember me? I'm the guy who didn't get the fifth ace. <laughs> You're the one who gives them out, aren't you? No. Take it easy. It's okay. The next time you give one to me, won't you? Yes. Yes. And I'll pay you for it. Tell me a little bit about your friend. I'd like to know him better. Well? <laughs> now, you wouldn't want to do anything like that? To a nice guy? Like me? Walking, huh? Well, if it isn't the lone stranger. You haven't gotten very far since last night. I didn't get going until this morning. I stopped to have a word with the blonde. To your advantage, I hope. You'll have to ask her about that. And the guy with the ace? That's who I'm heading for now. Hop on. Let's go, kid. I wouldn't want to miss anything. What's the idea? <laughs> Here you are. <laughs> Just follow your nose. Hmm? Mm-hmm. My men caught these two hanging around the stable, Sheriff. I reckon that they were going to steal the horses. It's a big lie, Sheriff. We only came here because we were looking for We were looking for, for a roof over our heads just for the night. Yeah. I say they're a horse thief, Sheriff. It's your duty. Hey, to... Morton. Here's another ace for you. What do you think you're doing? You three, get over there against that wagon with your backs to me. Get. And you boys hightail it. You might as well know. Your friend Morton here is a cheat. You're nothing but a lion skunk. Last night a cheat. Today a liar. Huh. I'm beginning to think you don't like me, Morton. You prove it. Yep. I got a witness by the name of Bella Smith, willing to testify. As a matter of fact, she's waiting in your office. Anybody else try something like that, and I'll have to scrape you off that wall. So go ahead and try. Go on, kid. Well, Sheriff? Listen, you know I was only joking. Here. Here's everything I want off you. Okay. Look out! Any objection, Sheriff? None at all. A clear case of self-defense. Those horses over there, they belong to the ranch. All except the bay. It's mine. I think I'll take one of them. For defamation of character. Well, you sure were a big help to me with that shotgun of yours. Who do I have to thank? Owl. My enemies call me Owl. What do your friends call you? What friends? 
My name is Johnny Sweet of Oklahoma. You're 25 years old. You're a gunman, card sharp. Yeah, but last night I play honest and look what happened. <laughs> he beat you to the cheat. Yeah. Hey, how'd you know I was 25? How old are you? 25? Don't shoot! We are your friends. Well, and we are unarmed. That's better for the hell. What's up, boys? We wanted to thank you for helping us. <laughs> I don't want to be thanked for anything. Now spit it out. What do you really want? Suppose we have a proposition. Huh? Fine. Sit down. I'm all ears, boys. Well? Well, amigo, if you hadn't arrived there just in time, it would have been very bad for us. Wouldn't you, Gomez? That's right. That's why Paco and me wonder how we can pay our debt, and we have one very good idea. We know a little secret that will make you rich. <laughs> no kidding. That's real sweet of you, but why don't you say what you're really after before I lose my patience? I will tell you. You're a man who is expert with a gun. And we need somebody smart because it is a dangerous secret. <laughs> now, flattery won't get you nowhere. The way I see it, we all run risk in the world. The question is, what's in it for me? How about 25%? Huh? 25% of what? 2,000. Two hundred, you say? Yes, amigo. Two hundred. Thousand? Hey. What'd you say my share was? Say it again. Twenty-five percent for, for you. Two hundred thousand dollars. Gold, four cases. I've got it now. The gold bar stolen from the mines by a band of Mexicans. Were you two... No, we were not part of the band, but we have some valuable information. We got it from a man who is... Dead now. <laughs> he was terribly unhealthy. <laughs> All right. I accept. Providing that we divide the gold in three equal parts. <laughs> Who do I shoot? Patience, amigo. We have to find a half-breed whose Indian name means face of copper. Hey, Maria. They had to stay out too late. <laughs> Drink it up! Drink up! <laughs> and now, I give you ten pesos. If you drink this bottle of tequila in three minutes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, drink, drink it up! <laughs> nah, that's it, Ignacio. Hurry, hurry! You just got two minutes left, eh? <laughs> you get ten pesos. Sí. <laughs> Ah, you know you're still thirsty. <laughs> Vamos, Eagle. Drink it up. <laughs> hey, ole. That's the way to go. <laughs> ole, ole, Ignacio. You <laughs> don't want to <laughs> Hey, ole. Hey. You got less than two minutes. <laughs> Open up your throat. <laughs> Drink it up. That's right. <laughs> That's it. A little more. Be much longer? A couple of minutes, senor. Hey, wanna go get a bite? Si, senor. 
Hey, Al! Al! Chili tortillas and vino. Hey, you boys know an Indian by the name of Copperface? No, senor. Never heard of him. Vamos. Listen, boys. We're looking for a needle in a haystack. What's he look like, anyway? He would be much easier if we knew. We've never seen him. Huh? You've never seen him? <laughs> Nobody ever introduced us to him. The only thing we've been able to find out is that he was at Santa Clara eight days ago. And probably you can find him there unless he's assumed a false name. But Santa Clara's full of Indians. And you don't even know what his real name is. How do you expect to find him? We are counting on you to do that. That's why we brought you in with us. Explain yourself better. Me and Paco have to keep out of Santa Clara because the air there is very hard on our throats. Hey, amigo mio. <laughs> si. ah, wake up. Ignacio, what's the matter with you? Amor. Huh? Have a look in the bar. There's a gringo who is asking for Copperhead. A gringo? Uh, I don't like him or his friends. Miguel! When they go, follow them out of the pueblo. And adios. That is stupid of you. Because they could really help us, don't you see? Mm. Make them work for us? Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. Go on. Es bueno, senor. Mm. Mm. I hear you people have been asking about an Indian called Copperface. Why, you know him? Well, I have met him last month. He came here a couple of times, ate big meals, and never paid his bill. If I ever get hold of him. Listen, Paquita. My name is Maria. Here, Maria. Here's twenty dollars for you. Oh, gracias. And here's another two hundred. If you help us find him. But I don't know where he is, senor. I already told you that. That's not important. What do you say? Wondering if you could put us up for the night, Padre. What can I offer you? This is a place to suffer and meditate on divine providence. Don't worry, Padre. We'll meditate with you. Oh? Well, we are Christians, you see. In that case, my house is yours. Here, I'll carry that. Gracias. Pass in ustedes. And may I ask where your steps are directed? To, uh, to the village of Santa Clara. Ah. Uh, to visit the shrine. Bless you. Get him. Saints preserve us. There's no way to act in a church. 
What are you just doing a little penance, Father. What's he done? But he's just a poor Indian, a repentant sinner. Let him go. I beg Not yet, please. Padre. Just one more sin you to confess. You mustn't use violence now, pray in the for house him. of God. That's right, Father. You pray for him. Come on, talk. I'm running out of patience. You're hitting him too hard. Come here. Stay there now. You won't learn anything that way. You better log him up somewhere for the night. Tomorrow I will make him talk. Oh, yeah? Just how do you intend to do that? I'll tie a rope of hemp around his forehead, and then I'll pour water on the rope, and the fibers will shrink and crush his head in. I'm sure if you make a noise, and I'm not fooling, senor. Come on, we're going. Just be careful and don't try anything if you don't want to leave me a widow. Get moving. Ahead of me. I kept wondering why you were hanging around. You ought to have guessed it, kid. Did you think I was out chasing butterflies? No. Not a wise old owl like you. Just want my share of the honey, that's all. You are sharing the bear's hide before you have shot it. Supposing I give you the gold, you will have to reckon with Carranza. Carranza? Who's that? She didn't tell you? He's a bandito. His men robbed the gold mine. She's my wife. She left me for him because of the gold. That isn't true. Carranza made me go and you know it. But I stole the gold to get even. He's lying. Now listen, I'll take you to the gold. Only I get my share and the woman. For I don't talk no matter what you do. That's okay by me. There's enough gold for everyone. 
Then we're all agreed. Get our horses behind those rocks. Hurry up, Indian. Yeah, they're following us. That's for sure. This treasure hunt's getting too crowded. You talking about that Carranza and his men? Mm-hmm. And also them. Uh, when you think... $200,000 divided by five is $40,000 each. Yeah, that's a lot of tortillas. Yeah. But what can two Mexicans and an Indian do with all that dough? They wouldn't even know how to spend it. <laughs> by the way, how's your aim from this distance? What distance? What happened to the people around here? They're in the graveyard. They tried to argue with Carranza. Sure it's the right way? I'll keep my word. Be sure of that. All I can say is you're better. What you shooting at? Rats! But empty bottles. Ah. Not a drop to drink. Some salute. Look, whiskey. Give me that bottle, Indian. Go on, drink. Gomez, better not try that again or I'll drown you in whiskey.
Leave it alone. Calm down, Copperface. All we're interested in is the $200,000. And you lay off as woman, hear me? With your share of the gold, you can buy all the girls you want. How much longer before we get there? We'll be there tomorrow morning. She's going to be more trouble than she's worth. That was part of the bargain. Don't look at me like that. Get out! Why you stop it? The gold is in there. Come on, Gomez, hurry up. It's here. It goes in this cave. Where are they called? Come on. Under the stones. Look, the boxes. <laughs> <laughs> Like we said before, senor, Gomez and me want to be paid our share of the money, and then we go our own way. Right away? In the morning, huh? Si. Yeah. Okay, if you boys definitely made up your minds to go, better get a little rest first. We'll take turns standing guard. I'll call you first. Then you, Gomez. Not us, our. Paco and me want our share now. We're not Come waiting on, till the morning. Gomez, cut it out, will you? Life. What happened? The wind happened. Said partners, we'll take turns standing guard. Paco, you first. I'll relieve you. Thank you. 
Where are you going? I'm going to do something that no one else can do for me. We got visitors. How many? Five, six, maybe more. They're coming this way. You two stay here with her. Indian, come with us. I might need your knife. You watch the street. I'm taking her upstairs. We wouldn't want her to try anything. Come on. Hey, Pops. I'd sure like to know what you're going to do without that big double-barreled buffalo gut of yours. Why don't you ask them if they want to find out? Let out. Search the whole pueblo. You come with me. The rest of you take that side. Vamos. Two kinds. The ones who look at gold and the ones who take it. We must hurry. Hey, hombres, aquí. man doesn't holster his gun before he's taking a look around. We come in hurry. like my gun. What happened? 
Gomez was trying to get away with the woman and the gold. But he forgot to look behind him. Fortunately. Adios, amigos. Good luck. Gracias. Adios. Too bad about Gomez. But it did make the division easier. One apiece. Yeah. Adios. Thought you were going back Texas way. Oh, I got business in Veracruz. Valley. My cabin is on the other side. Thought you were headed for Veracruz. I thought you were headed for the border. Change your plan. Yep. Well, I must admit, they do look kind of tempting, don't they? Are we still partners, kid? All right. At 50%. Sure. They are 50% is splitting up. Call it. Heads for Paco. You get Paco. And you get Copperface. like you always pick the wrong place to pray, hombre. Where's Carranza? Well? Small world, the Black Widow. <laughs> you might be kind, Johnny. Since I was just thinking of that trick with the damn canvas, the sun would shrink it and crush your skull. Yep. You wouldn't force us to do that to you, would you, Johnny? Where is the other gringo? Hey, you must be the famous Coranza. <sighs> Boy, I sure heard a lot about you. You have? Mm hmm. What have you heard? Well, they say you're a very strong hombre. You hear the gringo. <laughs> also, that you're very brave and wise. Muy bueno. You don't really think it is Shut true what you're saying. Silencio. Uh, go on, amigo. 
They also say, oh, shucks, it's not important what they say. Come on, Gringo, spit it out. They say the Carranza takes his orders from Maria. Do you believe this? Are you too stupid to see what game he is playing? Everyone thinks it's a crying shame the great Carranza lets himself be shoved around by a woman. Be careful. This gringo is only trying to make trouble. You want to fool Carranza, eh? You just tell us where the gold is, or I believe Maria. Know what they say about you, Carranza? Huh? That you eat pigs, don't you? No. no, don't shoot! Go on, Diego! Go on, give me a lesson! <laughs> or he won't be able to say a thing. <laughs> I think it's a bad mistake you've made. Mistake? Amigo! Thirsty? Huh? What? Uh, what? Did you hear the gringo? Agua! Mucha agua! No! What are you doing? Oh, don't worry, Maria. The other gringo won't get away. I promise you. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> We must find the other. Come on, let's go.
Come up! Madre de Dios. Oh, Paul! Give me a swig. Yeah, see. Yeah. Enjoying yourself, I see. <laughs> well, if it ain't old Al. What are you doing at Fiesta? Well, I'm the man with the fireworks. <laughs> what happened to you? Oh, I had a run in with Granza. Well, let's go. Where? The fiesta. <laughs> hey, muchachos, Garanz is giving you one more grand fiesta, huh? Eh? <laughs> Have lots of fun. Pedro and Sebastiano, be careful you don't drink too much. <laughs> For sure. By the way, you still got the fourth box, ain't you? Yeah, why? Nothing. Just good to know if worse comes to worse, we still got something to divvy up. Who says so? What do you mean, who says so? Me, Johnny Sweet, your partner. Oh, is that so? Yes, that's so. No, it's at the fiesta. <laughs> hey, here he comes. Mm. The gringo, you got him? Uh, he got away. What? Stupid fool! You had another 50,000 in bars of gold. Hear me, muchachos, I want that other box of gold! Where is it? Where is it? Where did he take it? No! Oh! You fool! You idiot! I have a feeling that poor vomit's getting it because of you. Who knows if Grant has put a price on your head? <laughs> Don't leave the Pueblo! Keep your eyes open. I'm tired of waiting. 
Where are you going? There's three cases of gold in there, just waiting for us. Looks like a long night, kid. Why don't you have another drink? I'm gonna have a talk with Carranza. You coming? You know something? I'm getting a little old. You can tell. But I'm still alive, because I'm more patient than you are, boy. Let's get what we came for. the other box. Hit it a couple of miles from here. Well, here comes the fun, boy. There they are. Look out. behind the cart. We will have to surround them. Hurry, now. Do something. Get going. Let me try, Carranza. Go on. We moved on. You won't get away. I'll get you for this. Come back. I guess I'll be on the way. I thought you were coming to El Paso with me. No, thanks. I got other plans. I thought you were anxious to have another go at that blonde. 
<laughs> Bella, with $100,000 in my pocket, the whole world is mine. I wouldn't want to waste my time on just one blonde. Now, would I? Mm. You know what I say, Johnny? That gold isn't going to last you long enough to... I know your type. Gambling, women. You're not a Quaker by any chance, are you? They don't call me Owl for nothing, boy. Let's just say I'm a man of experience. Just hate to see you squander all that money. Well, you see, Owl, I appreciate your interest, but... I just want to have a little fun, that's all. Yeah, yeah, no. Hey, Owl, I've been wondering something. What'd you take that watch from Carranza for? Sentimental reasons. It belonged to somebody I knew. To Henry from Bill. He's a friend of yours? That's right, a friend. Huh. Okay, Al. Well, see you around. Good luck. Hmm. <laughs> Why, you... Hey, what do you think you're doing, Al? I told you that hundred thousand wouldn't last you long. Come on, give me my gun. Watch out for the next one. Get over there. This time it's your turn to do a little walking. Al, hey Al, I'm your friend. And I'm your friend, kid. At least give me my horse. Al, I'll have you hide for this, you hear me? Money you worried about. You know, yesterday I had a hundred thousand dollars. Mm, and how much you got now? But not your price. What's your third less? You're a plum loco, aren't you? Well, I'd be loco if I paid the price you want. Tell you what I'll do. Johnny! Johnny. <laughs> Hello, Bella. What in the world happened to you? Oh, into a door. Bella, you like this ring, didn't you? Yes, Johnny. Now, this little ring means more than I can say. It belonged to my aunt, and one day I'll give you one much more beautiful than this. But now I need money right away. So that's why you came to see me. Come on upstairs. Thanks, honey. Howdy, Jack. Howdy, Sheriff. You ain't got a match in your pocket, have you? Oh, here. Thank you. I wonder what went wrong between Al and his partner. Don't really know. Oh, oh. Yes, yeah, sir, she's a real fine mare, breaks my heart to sell her. Here, try your tears with this. Hey there, young fella. You back in town? Howdy, Sheriff. Do you by any chance happen to see my friend Al around? You know, the, the one... The fellow that totes a sawed-off shotgun? Yeah. He was at the hotel last night. Left this morning. How long ago was that? Oh, a couple hours back. Did you see where he was headed? 
That way. Yeah. Hey, you'll be miles away by now. Bullets are finished, gringo. Now I get you. Now! You want to know what else they say about you, eh? You're dirty, stinking, lying, coward! You know what else everybody says about you? You know what they say? <laughs> they say mm. the Koran's is a bad loser. Uh. Mucha agua, amigo. Hey, what happened to Carranza? He's dead, like all the rest of them. All except one. Ah! All right, Al. Now I'll take care of you. Stop fooling, kid. If you wanted me dead, you would have let them pump some of that lead into me. Ah, you really think so, friend? <laughs> oh. 
Okay, kid, you've convinced me. Thanks for your shotgun. Want to make a deal? Where's the gold? In here, but I ain't going to give it to you. Well, then, I'll have to come and get it. Remember that watch Carranza had? It was my brother's. He was in charge of the gold when they robbed the train. They blamed him because he's the only one who got away alive. Now, he's in jail. It goes back to the company, every ounce of it. I'll give you a short why. Sure. I can see the headlines now. Recovers $200,000, clears brother of theft. You won't come away from this empty-handed. There's a reward of $20,000. To be split, is that it? 50-50, naturally. Sure, partner. Then come on in and give me a hand with this stuff. Okay. Like my old aunt used to say, if you can't have the whole pie, be happy with a piece. Okay, old man, you got a deal. Kid, your aunt was right. She also said, if you can have the whole pie, take it. Little brother in prison, eh? Is this the best place to cross the river? Si, senor. That is the fall. Muchas gracias. Yeah. Howdy. Something the matter, Sheriff? I don't know yet, mister. We're just checking up. Get down, George. Today, the Galveston coach was robbed and a guard murdered. They took more than $10,000 cash. What's in those boxes? What boxes? Playing dumb, mister? Those boxes you're carrying. Oh, uh, those boxes. Well, uh, horseshoes. Just horseshoes. Chislini, eh? Let's have a look. That's right, Sheriff. They're just horseshoes. Let's go. Everything all right? It's short about 10 pounds. That'll be one bar. You can take it out of the reward money. No, that isn't necessary. The company is more than satisfied, I assure you. Here you are. Good luck. And what about my brother? I'd like to say how grateful we are. The robbery was a big shock to our company. But what about my brother? Naturally, he'll be released immediately. And since you've shown that he was innocent, he'll have his job back. And no doubt the directors of the company We'll see that he is adequately compensated for the discomfort he has undergone. I'd like a few people to know about this. You'll see the headlines in the morning. Thanks. 
Clever trick, that, with the horseshoes. Hmm. But I'll bet that other lad's disappointed. Hold my horses, will you? Covers 200,000, clears brother of theft. <laughs> Even robbed me of my headline. Hey, young fella, you know what they're saying about your partner? Yep. And there's another thing I know. I'd sure be glad to see him right now. That's easy. He's waiting for you at Morton's Ranch. He just bought it. Oh, yeah? Wait a minute. I hear you two have an account to settle. What'll it take to satisfy you? Only a funeral. Yeah. Hey, Al, I come to get you. I know you're in there, you bastard. You bought this ranch with my reward money. Well, I'm going to turn it into a graveyard for you. You told the sheriff we got an account to settle. Well, come on out and I'll settle it. What's the matter, afraid to face your partner? Well, if you don't show that stinking yellow pussy of yours in one minute, I'm coming in. You hear me? Well, I'm not scared and I intend to wait right here for you. And if you don't come out, I'm coming in. Why don't you shut up? Say your prayers, Grandpa. Take all the time you want. 
I wonder if this will leave a scar. Yeah, I'm... Did you get your breath? Okay, got your breath out of jail. And you're a big hero in the newspapers. But anyway, we're still partners. And you owe me 50% of the reward money. Mm. No, I don't. No. 100%. Here. But... You can have the whole pie. What about you? This is enough for me. If you say so. Well, I guess I was lucky to meet you. <laughs> yeah, remember that. There's a job to do in Veracruz. Why don't you show up there in a couple of weeks, Johnny? And we split even. Sure, kid. Partners. 50-50. 50-50. Okay. Say, there's something I've been wondering for a while. Why did they call you Al, if you don't mind me asking? <laughs> Go finish your breakfast. <laughs> Adios, Al. See you soon.